And Court, we've already seen some pretty heavy rain. Are we through the worst of what today has in store? Well, Kelly, that really depends on whether or not we see that thunderstorm development this afternoon that is in the forecast for today. The chance for thunderstorms later on. Now this morning, we're starting to see the showers in the valley wrapping up a little bit. We've had the main band of moisture moving through overnight, and that's what you're seeing here on this live look from Highway 32. So don't forget the umbrella on your way out the door this morning. Here is a look at that wet road on Highway 32 and Main Street early on this morning. It is slick out there, and we're also seeing a lot of leaves on the ground. That's going to decrease your stopping time, so keep that in mind. You want to give yourself plenty of extra time to get to where you're going and extra space between yourself and other vehicles. Winter weather advisories remain in effect for our higher elevations through at least early this afternoon from Shasta County to the west and through 4 a.m. Tuesday for the northern Sierra due to the snowfall that does still look abundant. And we are seeing some visibility issues as well, down to three quarters of a mile in Chester. Most of the visibility issues, the worst of them, are in our mountain zones this morning. 40s in the valley, 30s to 40s in the foothills, 20s to 30s in our mountain zones and wind. Not too bad right now out of the southeast to 12 miles an hour on the east side of the mid valley. Throughout the day, we're looking at gusts potentially up to 25 miles an hour, but those gusts will start to diminish late this evening into tomorrow, and it's lighter winds over the next few days and mostly north winds by tomorrow midday. Satellite and radar, I'm showing you that band of showers tracking across the valley up into the Sierra and foothills. That main band is already pushed through, but you can see here along the coast there's more on the way as this low pressure area tracks south along the coast, and you can see that thunderstorm activity off the coast as well. So that's going to be a potential for us this afternoon and evening. And the best chance for thunderstorms, mainly Tehama and Butte counties up into the northern Sierra. Your hyperlocal future cast showing you rain continuing for the north end of the valley in areas of I-5 for your morning commute. By noon, we're still seeing some limited showers in the valley, but most of it's in our higher elevations. And then that potential for thunderstorm activity from Tehama and Butte counties up into the foothills this evening. We will continue to see a chance for some light scattered showers overnight, but we're drying out for tomorrow. We're seeing a lull continuing on Thursday or Wednesday, that is. And then that next band of moisture moving in Thursday night into Friday, and then yet another band Friday night into Saturday. Sunday, continuing to see that chance for showers on the way. So keep the umbrellas close. You're going to need them. Up to around a half an inch of rainfall still possible for the valley in our mountain zones today. Moving forward Thursday through the weekend, those totals absolutely soaring across our region to up to around two inches possible in the valley, up to three and a half inches in our mountain zones. Could see another half a foot of snow from this system in the northern Sierra today, a few inches for the northern mountains, and then a few feet of snow possible from Thursday through this weekend in the northern Sierra. Temperatures in the 40s for the northern mountains today, 30s for the Sierra and southern Cascades, 30s to 40s in the foothills, and the chance for thunderstorms ramping up this afternoon. 40s to mid 50s in the North Valley, mid to upper 50s in the mid valley today. We will be seeing a little bit of a lull in the active weather on the way for Tuesday into Wednesday, but then that next storm system arrives late in the day Thursday with shower chances returning and continuing from Thursday afternoon through your upcoming weekend. So Kelly, something to keep in mind. The break from the rain Tuesday and Wednesday, more arriving Thursday night and lasting through that upcoming weekend.